Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hens. And then I'm Kevin for a 9, and it is now 4.20 p.m. for me, so... Uh, time to blaze it. Blaze yep. it right back to the other room that you found. There's definitely weed in there. Oh, we should have looked, looked closer at Hero's Locker, because I guarantee we would have found some weed. Yeah. Here's a room that's like completely fucking destroyed. Alright, let's see what else we can look at. The bathroom, the bed, and the wall. Is that all? Oh well. Let's look at the bathroom first. Open the door just a quack and glance inside and immediately close it again. Wasn't the hint of a bathroom. It's a big pile of wobble. What did I say? The wall? Oh no, that's just the door, so I guess the bed. The bed's completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore, it's just garbage. No, there's a coin in it though. I hope whoever was here before didn't mind, but it's mine now. Okay, I guess that's it. Alright, well, not much there then. I guess that's all, all for right, the- Alright, let's, uh... let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go to the bio lab. That's back on the fourth floor. Yeah. Fifth so... floor, excuse me. Let's go to the map. Warp, warp. Second, third, fourth, fifth. So like the guitar riff. Yes. Oh, I think I know what's gonna happen in here. Oh, I obviously don't. <laughs> Let's just jump in and see what we can find. And it turns out everybody's cloned. Well, you only am in the bio lab. That's it's so true. cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Oh, okay. Oh, well, there's some tarps. There's a sack of talks here. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. Okay, but you don't notice that they're white? Okay, because I do. Uh, it's so cold. Why is it so cold in here? First thing I need to figure out. Uh, some kind of weird machine built in the wall. On the left side, it's a bunch of glowing blue lights. On the other side. Oh god, is this the. Oh! Oh, I. That's a baseball. No, is this is this like the morgue? Yep. You were gonna get to that in like three seconds, but yep. But then one of the bodies would be gone. I still think it's in the monitor. Okay, what what do I need to like? Look at here. Okay, I don't need to. Okay, those. All right, what do you have here? Some kind of weird machine board in the wall or something. I've seen something like this before. And that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in a horror movie and stuff. The Fritz was throwing dead bodies. Does that mean this bio lab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. Some kind of weird machine, something built inside the wall. Okay, yeah. The ones on the left. This, there's, okay, yeah, there's seven left on that side. Alright. Let's see what's going on there. Alright, some kind of booklet heel. Looks like an instruction manual. We have an equal friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the, to the germicidal lamps, ger germicidal lamps, we also yeah. provide an ozone generator for the removal of is it in gas? Simply insert the control into the blue and the blue light will let you know that you've automated systems have activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With your system, anyone can keep a- I like how my mouth just made a farty noise from doing both voices at once. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> wow! It's just cause like the underbite and like the-, the with all that system, <laughs> anyone can keep a body fresh as a deity for as long as they need. And the unlikely you end up a problem, the wet light will activate an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel, we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. Do you see the manual for the fridge? Oh, well, looking around, I think I get it. Seems clear to me now. Some kind of makeshift morgue. I might just lie to my thought. Looks like it's set up so when it's five occupied, the blue light comes on. Which I mean, inside each slot, 
Well, yeah, playing blue. Yeah, but there's only s there's seven ones not lit, which means that there's seven people still out there. Can't let me only can take control right now. There's only one thing to do for everyone who died. Like defeat the mastermind. If you do that, I have to continue my investigation. Take a lot of options. Yeah, but like, look at those again. Put that body in. And he died. All in this little room. Okay, well, let's look at the tarps again. Uh, where do you want to go now? The dojo or the garden? Uh, let's do the dojo first, because it's the okay, less. Cool, that's what I was thinking. It's a less obvious, uh. one. No, hello. Oh. I was actually not expecting to find her here. Kyoko. This is what you were. Well, I was expecting to find Hiro in the, uh. in the garden, so. I guess the process of elimination. So, this is what you all. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Am I so disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, it's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd find a clue. No, I haven't. I find anything. Not a single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, we'd have something, right? There wasn't anything under the ordinary here. Give her back. Give her me back my precious time! Calm down, Joko. What's your problem? Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless and good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. Master Will! I'm not sure I can disagree with that. I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. I don't want anyone except me. Um, well... I don't think you'll want any clues here, so... Maybe I'm gonna get going. <laughs> Alright, uh... Screaming. I guess I can look around a little bit. There's like nothing in here. Uh, My throat hurts. Now. I can talk to you again, but I guess, I guess I'll, I'll spare you. Then she just screams again. Okay. And she says, why is everything? Why is everything? Yeah, why is everything? <laughs> Expecting to run into uh, my favorite uh, psychopath anytime soon because we haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. Also, I realized earlier that we never actually got to talk to her. We finally completed the whole thing and then she never showed up again, <laughs> which is pretty well. great. Um. Huh? It's gone. McCoy's body. It's not here. That's weird. What? So you feed it to the plan. You might have flower. It's true. Is it really eat people, plastic, and people? I don't think it's related to the case. I took the shed. I'll take the chicken chip first. Uh, there's still just four chickens left. Honestly, it's kind of terrifying if there were more than that. But do you not know how biology works? I mean, I guess there's no rooster, so I guess that would be weird, but... I need to buy inside the tool shed. I'm gonna go check this to be sure. I didn't find anything even close to it, their body. It's not in Io, then it must be... Could it be in the bio lab? Of course, though, the only thing I need to check in here. It's one other thing. The top. The top of the key roll in another case, so... Better look into it again. Killer used the top to quit sprinklers from... He the sprinklers from getting the body wet. Which means the killer might have some clue behind here. Huh? I didn't know it existed before. This is a small sample, one in the corner of the top. It's says biolab. Then, this originally came from the biolab? Oh, why? Well, that certainly is useful. Uh, 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 I forgot what my buttons were. What's here in all this? So all I really need is check here. Ding dong! Bing bong! That's not good. Um, this is a school announcement. Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Sounds weird. Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> 
For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. All right. <laughs> what? Now he wants to give us a hint? Suspicious, there's no doubt about that. This could be a twap. Even knowing that, he said to go to the gym, right? I like how you don't even have a choice. You just gotta go. I like how sometimes the game teleports you and sometimes says, Hello, hero. Oh, hey, hero. Whoa! <laughs> ah, Makoto! Why'd you act so surprised? Uh, 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 no reason. It's not like I killed anyone. God. You would mind coming to the announcement, right? We need to find out what he has to say. I. Uh, I. I just did actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him? What did he say? Listen, sorry, but I. Uh, I gotta go! Yo, wait! There's no point in trying to stop him. He went off like a frightened animal. Hello? I think he was trying to avoid me. I was hoping to talk to him about a notebook I found in the locker. I've been trying to hide something this whole time. God. I doubt it. Again, still don't do this to me, man, but... I like how it's just I him. Don't know. It, I don't know, I think... It, yes. I think it might just be trying to red herring us, but... Like, Hello, welcome! Welcome, hello! Are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just so happens to be the envelope on the ground in front of you! The envelope? This must be the envelope. <laughs> and, just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. But, what? what? It's another one of the fucking pictures, isn't it? Like the ones that we found in the other during the other cases, but like with everybody else here or everybody who hadn't seen on picture shit. Don't worry, just get on with it. Michael is quick to avoid the main feeling veil, but I kept the envelope and I opened it. What I found was a single photograph. Yup. <laughs> and Drew goes like, I can't believe it! I'm in a picture! <laughs> nice fucking job, Taka, you dick. Also, I like how Makoto isn't here. Huh? I said, I like how Makoto isn't here. Oh, Makoto isn't in the picture, that's weird. I think he's the only one. It features a bunch of faces I recognize extremely well. It's everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me. Wait, but... Someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. But that's not true. I do recognize her. That's why right. Obiaki and I were in the headmaster's room. And we all look at that file. A cool with Usaba. Then this goal is... What? Why? Why is Makua here with everyone else? And even more than that... Just having everyone here post like this is weird enough by itself. They're all wearing matching uniforms? I don't remember anything like this. Even though fucking Celestial isn't. <laughs> She's just off in the back there. And now that... And, now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But, I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember why we're taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but... First time I met everyone else, so when I arrived at Hope's Peak Academy. So it's natural for me not to be in this picture, but it's definitely unnatural. See, everyone else is in the picture. Wait, what's with the different tie? Oh, for who? 
Well, the the, uh, the modesty tie, as we called it before. Oh, wait, let me see. Uh, what? Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Okay. No. Okay. No, Junko. It's like other than her face being obscured. Look at the tie she's wearing. White. Yeah, but look at the bottom of it. Oh. Oh. I don't like that oh, very much. Oh, that's... come on. Well, that's weird, because everybody else is just wearing whatever they normally had. At least, tie-wise. Looking at Celeste and Ifumi, so I don't know, it's just... It's the R one out, so that's why I'm pointing it out, but... Alright. It's weird. Also, what is that, like... Oh, no, no. Uh, no, that was like part of Hero's hair and like just the space in the background. I was like, what's that like behind him? Or is <laughs> the. There's like this black like void between him and like Sakura there. It's foreshadowing, no. God. I'm sure there's more significance to something here. If this picture is real. Then could that mean... Could it be? Everyone else... It's just me. Everyone here except me is... <laughs> How long are they gonna keep up this rambling so So... so I don't even know how to say that. Soliquy. Soliquy of yours, Hamlet! You are kinda getting in the way, standing there, you know? Hmm. So, I mean... Get out. But I told you, I am not fielding any questions. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? It would be totally out of left field. Less than three. Greater than three. Whatever. If it means he's done talking. Damn it. So in the end, all I found in the gym is even more confusion. The confusion in hand, I left the gym, gym detected. That's a kind of hint, just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma is going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looks so real. It's a full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should ask everyone directly. That should clear this all up. No, I have to clear this all up. No, I. Uh, Biaki is on the second floor in the archive. Right, well, let's go to so he's first the closest one. one. Do you want to go talk to him first? Yeah. All right. Oh, Biakia. Listen, do you think we could talk? Biakia? That's enough. I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Hey, Biakia, wait! Of course he didn't. He just walked away. I'm sure Biakia is like, the... Oh, Makoto's not in the picture. That means he's the mastermind. Yeah. Why is he oh, acting yeah. like that? Like wait, am I the either. mastermind? <laughs> Guys, I think I might be the mastermind. <laughs> okay, I know it sounds real, but you gotta bail with me on this one. I think I'm the mastermind. <laughs> Alrighty. Who? What is that? Uh. Oh, okay. It says it's had a thing in the archive, but that's really over and done with. Uh, that's nothing on that floor. 
Hey, everyone else is on the fifth floor. On fifth floor, you mean, right? Fifth floor, yeah. I wonder who's hanging out in the bio lab. What can you wheel? Uh, let's go there first! Okay. I mean, that's where I teleported to, so, like. Yeah, let's go there first. I tried to visit the bio lab one more time. The fourth thing I saw when I got there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there! I'm What's getting all? There. Passed out. Again. Huh? Telco! Isn't that the place for a nap? Oh, crap. Why'd you open that? It's open! Oh, with Telco! Toko, are you okay? No, no, she's not dead, is she? <laughs> oh! It's so cold! It's so cold! It's so cold! I think I might get the cold. You keep taking naps in places like this. I'm sure you will. Wow, that was sleep time. I must have fainted again. I bet you're sitting there staring at me, getting all excited, weren't you? No, I I really wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered, straight up horny. Uh, okay, so, why'd you pass out? I don't know, my second river was me waking up just now. Oh, what'd you do to Miss Moreau's? No, that's why you remember we stopped and started to attempt these quits. <laughs> because Linda, we share the same basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. And don't say it like it's a bad thing, it's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because even if she does forget something, I totally remember. It's just like a double the memory. Uh, no, it's more like half. Uh, okay. <laughs> like how her braids get thicker when she turns into jail. Yes. Oh, but I want to know right now, it's worth that little darling! Tell me now or I slit your throat! Uh, I don't know. I'm sure Bjork is around somewhere. He's doing investigating. Mm, yes, by himself? No, I assume so. I knew it! I totally knew it! I'm a total pro when it comes to all things master. Anyway, I gotta hurry! I can't imagine how lonely he must be right now! <laughs> <laughs> Well, tie my hands now. Totally shut off or you will have to whack one behind her. Oh, I totally forgot to ask about that picture. Well, there's <laughs> no point in asking Dennis and Jack anyway. Besides, that's more important thing to do right now. Why Toko faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. What? Maybe it's maybe it's the fucking body sticking out of the thing. You fucking idiot. The uh, fridge! Arm is itchy. It's open! But I'm sure you were shut tight last time I walked here. Um... Kyoko, I think, maybe? Yep. That okay. must be why she passed out. She faints so right. easily. Kyoko! Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? I like how I've started to re Like, now, by now, I'm starting to recognize, like, each character when they talk, even when they're question marked. Are you... okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you didn't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about this room. Oh, yeah, it's... It's a morgue. Yeah. I knew it. I suspected as much. And Toko must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there, and... There you have it. You knew she'd fainted? Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. Imagine she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot there... That's when she started buying the inside and dropped like a bag of locks. Why did everything gotta be too difficult at all? Anyway. Anyway, we should close it up. We don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good yeah, idea. Yeah. Give me a hand with this. Kyoko pulled the fridge, hand out slides. And suddenly, she stopped. What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body is in there. Mukuro's corpse? Who's bodies inside the fridge? I see. Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did? They assumed we wouldn't be need doing the class trial over again, I guess. So... You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. Makoto. I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time, and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Okay, so what should I do? So then, why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Just wait over there. That's it. All right. Um. 
I like to look at it too. No you need to stop me. So wait for me for throwing dead bodies. Looks like it's about to fall out actually. I can I can't do it. Can't look inside. Uh talk to her again maybe or Uh look at the tarps. Uh, oh alright, I suppose I can. You know, I think I've seen it talk like this somewhere before. Yeah, you did. He's now so finally starting to piece it together. Ah, it's the same one I found in the garden tool shed. If I remember that top. I just stamped on it, it said Biolab. Amazing how these things work. And this is a that was used to help camouflage the more than the garden. At some point, someone got it from the Biolab and took it from over Yale. Top is made up to the... Okay. How are you doing over there? Let's just joke about that group photo. At the wall, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about the announcement mark you were made earlier. Ooh. You mean the one about the hints or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? Because the only reason you'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints you may have to offer. That's a good point. I think we could go back and do the same thing, but it's done, it's done, I guess. Standing here, looking at her. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Well, maybe a lot, but not this particular thing. She white? The mastermind forged their picture as a twat to confuse us? It's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. Well, I guess I'll look at the desk. Let's fill the instruction manual. More importantly, I uh, talk to him again, maybe. Okay, no, we already, we already did. Are we supposed to leave? I guess we we should try. Can't leave the things out. Okay, can I look at the corpse then, or do I look at the other freezers? Let's tell you, wait, wait, there's a bunch of blue lights on. But these aren't on. It would, seem... it would seem the blue light comes on when a slot is occupied. So when someone's in there. Blue light comes on. Look at the amount of number of lights that are on, including Mukuru's. Mukuru's. It's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights? Okay, Makoto, I'm done. No way? Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. Anyone can do good work if they go slow. In that spirit, I'll make my report brief. So, did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful paid careful attention to the wounds and traces of blood. It seemed it's highly likely that the stomach wound and blood to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The bone tissue makes things a little lift. Oh. Uh. Oops. Yes, Frodo. Thank you. Okay, I'm just trying to be helpful. Made, do you want me to break up with you again? No. The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my found findings. So it means neither of those with a fatal injury, right? So then, what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife and went completely through the body. They also been struck with in the head with an object to stick at the metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. The only other option is those other wounds, but the fact that they were old. Where does it say they're old? Huh? Because... All the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. Listen. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old. However, but that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds makes it sound like they've been there forever, like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying... They are? We got all the Monokuma file, why you acted she was killed, why? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with it. So but what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly you can allow it as one of many possibilities, can't you? One of... me? Right. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. 
They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. Of course, me telling you doesn't mean that you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for future. For the future. No way. Hey. That's what I do, I just throw stuff out there and see what sticks. About to say, you'd be a pretty fucking good detective. Cause oh, you do- you, that's the only thing you do is just think of fucking crazy theories until 1-6. Yeah, maybe it's time for a career switch. Fuck this <laughs> video game thing. So if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of the body, now it's the time. Oh. Well, come to think of it, there's one thing. Oh, yeah, when I was looking at Mukoi's profile, it listed to a hide and wait. So... 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds. Vitals were 31, 22, 32. Did they get the right? Uh, I think so. You remember know that? Is that like a requirement to get into Hope's Peak? The pervy headmaster has to know your vitals. <laughs> that's kind of disturbing, seeing as it was her dad. Maybe that's what she found out. <laughs> <laughs> they are indeed consistent with the corpse. So then. Indeed. And don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Our victim in this case, without a doubt, Mukuro Ikusaba. Is that all you wanted to ask? Wait, no, okay. Oh no. Oh. Oh, what? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Were they switched from the start then? Were they? Were they? Were don't, they? Don't don't answer me, but like Were they switched from the start? Is that what I'm getting from this? Because Okay, like, clearly, clearly this body matches her, and unless her and Junko had exactly the right, like, measurements and everything, which I guess would be, like, could be possible, but that seems kind of odd. And that seems like it would work out very well here, but that means that they somehow managed to plan this all. Does that mean they were swapped from the start? Which... What make the master... Huh. That would explain a lot about... You know... Combining that with the thing that I noticed in the picture... With the tie that you wrote off as me bullshitting... I th uh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's a stretch. Well, let's see some evidence against it then. <laughs> Bing. Let's get my detective on. Anyways, let's let's carry on then. Uh, that you wanted to ask, I think, was the. Oh, did you already say that? I forget. Oh, uh, I think I already said that. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So done. But then it looks like we have no further business with Mukuro's body. Let's get going. It's kind of chilly in here. Wait, are we not gonna put the body back? I think it gets kind of sad leaving out like this. Why? Sad? Did you forget? She was our enemy once. Part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Hey. You ever heard of the phrase you reap what you sow? Oh yeah. But still. Ew. You really are naive, you know that? You misspelled that. <laughs> really quite appalling. Mm. What? She could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? So, Maeve. I, I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Now hold on. 
still have one more thing to do. Someone needs to talk to Kyoko about. I need to ask about the pocketbook I found in the locker. They'll do it now. Okay, then don't move the camera over all the way. <laughs> hey Kyoko, uh, I need to have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. What? Go ahead then. Out with it. Have you really never seen your dad even once since you got here? What? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? I do, yes. But to get any of those lockers, you need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using an more handbook. I see. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. Yeah. So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I might find a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? Can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is, there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you said makes perfect sense, but... There's something written inside. It's about the headmaster. About your father. If that's Does true. that mean... That video... Is real too? Video? Makoto. Makoto, I think everything's starting to fit together and reveal a cohesive picture. Although, I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I... I need to go investigate those lockers, right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me just give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can... So... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the lock with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? If you watch this, it'll all make sense. A DVD? It says, Class number 87, Origin Interview. So... I found it in that hidden room after you left. I don't have any time to explain what exactly I think it means, so just watch it and see for yourself. I think I'll realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. None of this makes sense right now. It just means there's some clue on this DVD. I guess now I gotta look for a DVD player! <laughs> oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? Ramble? In other words. So as it turns out, the arrangements I'd made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything. Even my own feelings. Tell me about your dad, right? I can never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. No, because I'm asking mine. However, but there's one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. Um, I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through with that. Kill was I born with the fire or determination? Determination to defeat the mastermind. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it... Why does it bother me so much to know that he, how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She had a small laugh as she said it. But his smile was filled with sorrow. <laughs> so, that's it for my rambling. There's still so much more to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. <clears throat> But keep this in mind, there is only ever one absolute truth, whether that truth serves justice or suffering, whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because, because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. So anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Leaving behind that final farewell. Kyoko is gone. I'm gonna get going myself. Got a DVD from Kyoko. Get back to the AVA room to check it out. This is something about hopeless truth. No matter what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if it's the worst truth in the world. Can't afford to lose. 
Uh, should we go there right now, or should we first uh, go to the other rooms with the other? Uh, I'm characters? already at the first floor. Uh, I guess that answer is clear then. <laughs> right. What the fuck is the AV room? Oh, there it is. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. 950 bucks! DVD player! Yes, yes. We understand, Homestar. Okay. Start digging up this tweet again for the love of God! Should be able to play the DVDs just fine. Well then, better take a look. The DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said it was playing, but nothing appeared on the screen. It's turned into the black monitor. Must have been only a few seconds, but to me it felt like an eternity. And then, all of a sudden, an image appeared. <laughs> Sayaka? It took me by total surprise. I haven't seen Sayaka in who knows how long. And there she was. Okay, then. Are you ready to begin? The voice I heard was in a man positioned on the other side of the screen. The voice of a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. Somebody was trying to make a joke, but I got ten faces to move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then. Let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Um. Those lines are. Oh, the line. Oh, yeah. okay. You want me to accept that? Saika was obviously a total loss. Made total sense. We need to spend the rest of the life in this school. I accept. Why? Thank you. And. I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. Give on cue, that's where the video cut out. That's a lot I hadn't understood up until now. But this. Only this. I simply couldn't un comprehend what I heard. Because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. She wanted that so bad. She thought to flame me for mortal. So... Why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? I think they're thinking about it. I noticed the sudden light. On the monitor, the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. I started back to the screen. If I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. Huh? What I saw was... Me. Impossibly, undeniably, me. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the flag! I don't know why he sounds so weird in this. Me and the headmaster were looking that he were looking at each other. He and I were, were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But the eye the eye here and now in the here and now had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much as sitting down to talk to him like this. Shall we get straight to the point, Makoto? There's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. <laughs> yes! Yes! Makoto! <laughs> would you- would you- <laughs> There may be a possibility that you have to fuck a goat. <laughs> would that be acceptable? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Why does he sound so creepy? God. Can't be real. After Makoto lost his memory, he suddenly got the list and stopped sounding creepy. I guess so. I said yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, you don't have much of a choice, do 
But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Yakuya. Toko. Hina. Everyone. They all said they agreed to live in this school. Forever. Then. Many of you with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. Sit down with the headmaster at Host Peak Academy. Her father. Also, I like how Hero isn't important enough to show here. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a fuck about Hero? I guess nobody likes me after all, huh? And I should have probably died way earlier on, though. <laughs> nobody really cares. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, um, I guess since we're at the final trial. Uh, the makeup trial, I guess I'll share this. Uh, in one of the demos, Yasuhiro was actually the victim. Oh. The cover up, the cover up the real victim. Oh, uh, alright. <laughs> oh man, can't believe they got me to sign up for that. <laughs> so, and, and, and another one of the demos, uh, Kyoko was the, uh, victim. Alright. I, guess I think for, like, the original game. I, I, I like, guess not Danganronpa, like its first yeah. incarnation. I guess they went with the characters that were gonna live at the end for the t like the tutorial or the uh, demos because obviously it wouldn't actually happen. Yeah, and plus also to hide who was actually going to die. No, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he asked her its question, she did the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Since Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? What is it, the monitor? The DVD player itself had apparently torn off. It's quite meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oopsie! Looks like it broke! Out of service! Well, what? It just happened to break right now? Too bad. Now then, when? Doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere! Anytime! <laughs> That's what failure is, right? Fill you my ass! You got the power on purpose! Oh, whatever. If you never watch the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. You answer the question, they all say yes. I couldn't help myself, I let a huge exasperated sigh, but as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. Thinking seem... back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems too convenient. Convenient outcome. Something that seems too obviously woke can fail the mastermind. So does that mean... I've lost my memory too? What about the others? Are we all forgotten? Or... Oh. You give you a DVD. Ding dong! Bing bong! For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that will eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> Try to begin again. The class trial is going to start. Final class trial. Last time all lives will be on the line. Last 
this time I'm hoping to spell on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. I was about to say, what is this song? But I just didn't recognize the, like, the, in the introduction there. <laughs> okay, then. This is the end. <sighs> oh my god, shit's gonna get real intense. Alright. Let's get going. That investigation period was much shorter than I remember it being. I guess I'm on the fourth one this time. Sorry. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah. For now, at least. But well, where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However, Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like he said. I popped out of the ground just now. <laughs> Byakuya! Byakuya? They lied. One after one, I know. They're all in the same state. Shock. Hina? Hero? Silence. What's any normal silence? It's definitely signs of fear with suspicion. It was like the fourth class twilight. But I think that. Uh, what the oh, fuck? You didn't go to the next line. I know I was about to say. I uh, I think somebody's about to break that silence though, and and there you went. <laughs> so. Ah, late. Strong silent master, so wonderful, so cool, so hot. My lords are ablaze. Please. Now listen, we're gonna be just fine. Just leave it to me. My With my scissors, sharp scissors. Scissor, oh, okay. She, she said it. I didn't fuck it up. My scissors, sharp scissors in hand. I'll stab and gouge and shiver the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone, but they do all the little boys. <laughs> if it's what master wants to be a boy, girl, or anything in between, I can handle it. Chew. Mm -hmm. Where am I? No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone here? Oh, I'm wearing a gloomy Gus face as I see. Okay, well then, let's begin. This final class trial is going to be slatted in pitch black despair, climaxum sorrow. That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial, and this time it'll be fair. What do you mean, this time? Stop with all the slander! I'm a bear and get standing, you know? If there were this a fair guy universe contest, I'd take on the tiara every year! Well, I'm gonna win this game super fair and square! And I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows that despair is mightier than the hope. Enough of your tedious drivel! Begin the trial already! Sure, sure. Let the trial begin already. I'll be waiting for you down below. You guys. So don't try to run away. I think it's loud as hell. My equipment disappeared. Hmm. Whatever. This will be over in no time. Inexplicable confidence. Yakia was forced into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They all disappeared into the elevator. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of one another. However. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However. Well, you can tell us all about it soon. The class trial. You know what? I'm ready. So. It's your one. Alright, I'll keep. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> okay. I, 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 you can hear are me. Are you now. ready to ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. Okay, now. Alright, sorry. Uh, but seeing as we are in 54 minutes, I think we should stop here and just start out fresh for We next should. Alright, so for now, yeah. we're gonna thank you guys all for watching. And we'll see you guys all next time for the final class trial. So for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye!